In this video, we will determine probabilities using the normal curve. In determining probabilities, the following notations for a random variable are used in our various solutions concerning the normal curve. First, P quantity A less than Z less than B denotes the probability that the score is between A and B. Number two, P quantity Z greater than A denotes the probability that the score is greater than A. Third, P quantity Z le less than A denotes the probability that Z score is less than A. In the above notations, A and B are Z score values. Example, P quantity 1 less than Z less than 2 equals 0.1359, which we read as the probability that the Z score falls between Z equals 1 and Z equals 2 is 0.1359. And take note, the two expressions below are the same, even though they have different symbols. We have key phrases in interpreting probabilities. Case 1, the required area is shading to the right regions under the normal curve if the key phrases are greater than Z, more than Z, above Z, at least Z, and to the right of Z. Case number 2, the required area is shading to the left regions under the normal curve if the key phrases are less than Z, no more than Z, not greater than Z, at most Z, to the left of Z, and below Z. Case number 3, models when the required area is between Z sub 1 and Z sub 2. Problem number 1, find the proportion of the area above negative 1. For our solution, step 1, draw the normal curve. Then step 2, uh, locate and draw the, a vertical line to the Z value which is equal to negative 1. Step 3, share the required region. Since the key phrase is above, we will shade the right region of the Z value which is equal to negative 1 in the normal curve. Next, use the Z table to find the area corresponds to Z equals negative 1. It is the same as with Z equals 1. The area is 0 0.3413. Next, examine the shaded region to form a probability equation appropriate to the required area. The graph suggests addition since it covers two half faces of the normal curve. Thus, the probability of z greater than negative 1 equals 0 0.5000 plus 0 0.3413. If added, the sum is 0 0.8413. Last step, state the answer. Therefore, the proportion of the above area is 0 0.8413. Or, if converted to percent, it is 84.13%. Problem number 2, find the area of less than z equals 1.25. As usual, first step natin, draw the normal curve, then locate z equals 1.25 and draw a vertical line to it. Next, shade the required region. Since the price is less than, we will shade the left region of z equals 1.25 on the normal curve. Next, use the z-table to find the area corresponds to z equals 1.25 and it is 0 0.3944. Let us continue. Let us examine the shaded region. The graph suggests addition since it covers two half faces of the normal curve. Thus, the probability of z equals 1.25 is equal to 0.5000 plus 0.3944. If they will be added, equals 0 0.8944. Therefore, the proportion of the above area is 0 0.8944. Or again, it can be converted into 89.44%. For our third problem, find the area to the left of Z equals negative 0 0.5. Step 1, draw the normal curve. Step 2, locate and draw a vertical line to the Z value which is Z equals 0 0.5. Since the key phrase is to the left, we will shade to the left region of Z equals negative 0 0.5 on the normal curve. Then, from the Z table, the value of Z equals negative 0 0.5, same as 0 0.5 is 0 0.1915. Since the graph covers only the single half face of the normal curve, 
the graph suggests subtraction. Thus, the probability of z is less than negative 0.5 equals 0.5 thousand minus 0.1915 if subtracted equals 0.3085. Therefore, the proportion of the above area is 0.3085 or 30.85%. Next problem, find the area of at least z equals 1.19. Again, draw the normal curve and locate and draw a vertical line to the z value which is equal to 1.19. Then, uh, shade the required region since the key place is at least, we will shade the right region of z equals 1.19 on the normal curve. Again, let us use the z table to find the area corresponds to z equals 1.19 and that is 0.3830. The graph suggests subtraction since it covers the single half face of the normal curve. Thus, the probability of z is greater than 1.19 equals 0.5 thousand minus 0.3830. If subtracted equals 0.1170, therefore the proportion of the above area is 0.1170 or 11.70%. Number 5, problem tayo. Find the area between z equals negative 1.5 and z equals 2. Ito na guys yung ating case 3. Yung 1 and 2, case 1 and 3 and 4 ay case 2. Drawing na kaagad natin ang normal curve at ilocate na kaagad natin yung dalawang values na negative 1.5 at saka z equals 2 sa ating normal curve. And then, shade the required region. Since the key place is between, we will shade regions between the two values of the normal curve. From the Z table, the value of Z equals negative 1.5 and Z equals 2 are 0 0.4332 and 0 0.4772 respectively. After examining the shaded region, we notice that the graph suggests addition since it covers the two half faces of the normal curve. Thus, the probability of the z values between negative 1.5 and 2 equals 0 0.4332 plus 0 0.4772. If added equals 0 0.9104. Therefore, the proportion of the above area, which is between negative 1.5 and 2, is equal to 0 0.9104 or 91.04%. At para sa ating last problem, find the area between z equals 1.32 and z equals 2.2. Once again, draw the normal curve. Locate and draw a vertical line to the two z values which is 1.32 and 2.2. And then, shade the regions between the two z values. From the z table, the value of z equals 1.32 is equal to 0.4066, z equals 2.2 equals 0.4861. Since it covers only the single half face of the normal curve, the graph suggests subtraction. Thus, the probability of the z values between 1.32 and 2.2 equals 0 0.4861 minus 0 0.4066. If subtracted equals 0 0.0795. Therefore, the proportion or the probabilities of the above area is 0 0.795 or 7.95%. Again, kung nakatulong sa inyo ang video na ito at bago ka sa akin channel, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe.